गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे न्यू चैप्टर प्रैक्टिकल ज्योमेट्री ओके नाउ की प्रैक्टिकल ज्योमेट्री दिस इज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल प्रीवियस ईयर वी हैव लर्न टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रायंगल यस प्रीवियस ईयर इन क्लास 7 वी हैव लर्न टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रायंगल एंड दिस ईयर वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल नाउ फर्स्ट पॉइंट फर्स्ट कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल When the lengths of four side line diagram are given, okay. What is given? When constructing a quadrilateral, when the lengths of four side line diagram are given. So now see first example. Construct a quadrilateral P Q R S. Construct a quadrilateral P Q R S. Okay. Construct a quadrilateral. Q R S where P Q is four centimeter, Q R is equal to six centimeter, R S is equal to five centimeter, P S is equal to five point five centimeter, and P R is equal to seven centimeter. So first, before before constructing the fair diagram, we construct a rough sketch of quadrilateral. So construct a quadrilateral P Q R S. Suppose now this. This is rough sketch of quadrilateral. Okay, suppose this diagram, this way here, P Q R S. First, what we have to do? We have to construct the rough sketch of quadrilateral. P Q R S. Where P Q is four centimeter. Now this is P Q. P Q is how much? Four centimeter. After that, Q R. Q R how much it is given? Six centimeter. Then R S. R S five centimeter. And P S. This P S is five point five centimeter. Okay. Now P R. P R. What is P R? This is diagonal. P R. Ah, 
green point will come, green point will come above this line. Okay, so somewhere here it will come. Okay, B will come somewhere here. Okay, so I don't know exactly where it is. We'll see now. A B, A B. What is the measurement of A B? It is given four point five centimeter. So A B is given. So now, 4 cm radius taking your compass now. 
compass see take 4.5 cm radius in your compass mark at the center and in 4.5 cm radius draw an arc for so both this so draw an arc okay so now we will come here here somewhere okay so now after that which measurement we do o e o e e will come here somewhere na so o e o e is given 7.5 cm so take measurement take 7.5 cm in your compass okay so 7.5 cm as the radius take 7.5 cm radius in your compass so now see 7.5 cm. Now which which we are going to draw? O E O E O E is 7.5 cm. So O at the center. Let's draw an arc. Cut into this arc. So here we got E. Okay. So here we got E. Now what we can do? Now we can do something. E R we can join. So see here I have to join E R. Okay, O E we can join. We got O E. See, O E, O E, O E we can join. So we can join O E. Okay, so now O R six centimeter, R E four point five centimeter, and O E, O E how much we got? Seven point five centimeter. Okay, now what we have to draw? Now we need to consider this part. Now opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. So now E R is four point five. So O A also. See now E R four point five. So O A also four point five. So take four point five centimeter radius in your compass. So take four point five centimeter radius in your compass. Or you can simply take this measurement because of both the sides of parallelogram are equal. So take this measurement in your compass. E R same it is that E R and O A measurement is same. So if it is four point five, so this also four point five. So take four point five centimeter radius in your compass. Take O as the center and four point five centimeter radius draw an arc. Okay. So after that, what we we need to do? We need to draw the M P. M P M will come here, here somewhere. So M P how much it is? M P six centimeter. M P M P how much it is? Six centimeter. Why six centimeter? Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Now we know this. So this is also six centimeter. So take six centimeter measurement in your compass. Take take six centimeter radius in your compass. Six centimeter radius in your compass and draw an arc. See, so six centimeter. Or you can take this this way also. Okay, you can take this way also. Okay. Now E as the center and with six centimeter radius draw an arc cut into this arc. Okay. See. This measurement is equal to this measurement. So take six centimeter radius in your compass. Okay, take six centimeter radius in your compass. Either you can take by this way, or you can you can use your rulers. So E as a center and with six centimeter radius, draw an arc cutting to this arc. So you have got which point M? Now join. M O and M P. -E. Okay, so M O so join M O M O
So now this is six, so this is also six centimeter because of all the cells of parallel chromatic group. This is four point five centimeter, so it should be four point five centimeter. Okay, and write the measurement. See, I am using my chalk. It is not pointed, so it will be little more here and there. But this is the parallel. For construction, I have to use sharp pencil, so it will become perfect. Let's solve now question number four. Rhombus B E S P. Now we have to construct rhombus. Okay, so now see, I have drawn a sketch of rhombus. Suppose square will be the rhombus. See, suppose this is the ground. Okay, now. B E S T. Suppose this I have written B E S T. Okay, B E S T is a rhombus. Rhombus B E S T. This is rough sketch I have written. Okay. Now B E how much it is given? B E is given four point five centimeter. Okay. And E T is given. E T means diagonal is given. Okay. E T is diagonal is given. B E four point five centimeter it is given. And E T see E T is this diagonal is it is given and we have to construct. Now we are thinking. Now we have only two sides are given. How to construct the rhombus? Okay. Now you know the property rhombus. All sides are equal. Okay. See here I have to write construction. Rhombus are equal. All sides of rhombus are equal. This is only construction we have to do here. Why? Because see, only one side is equal. This what is this construction? All sides of rhombus are equal. Yes. So, and what it is given? This it is given. E T. So for E T, how much it is given? Six centimeters. So let's 